Problem five is by far the most difficult problem that you're gonna encounter in section five. There's gonna be a variable inside. There's actually gonna be two variables and they're both gonna be inside. That should be fixed on your notes. And you're also gonna have a constant outside of the radical. So you can see your variables inside on a double radical and the constant in the back. The first thing we need to do is move the easy square root. In other words, the square root of x needs to move to the other side. So we're gonna add the square root of x to both sides. Does anybody wanna be a guest speaker? Anybody wants to be a guest speaker, feel free to come on back. Okay. Now we have to get rid of the square root this is being recorded. We have to get rid of the square root around the 5x plus 4. Do you know, guest speaker, what gets rid of a square root? Square. That is correct. So when you square this side, you also have to square this side. So this square makes that square root go away. What's left? 5x plus 4. Perfect. Now over here, we cannot distribute. That's the cardinal mm -hmm. sin, right? Say yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah. We have to write it twice, we have to distribute. Ready? This side is pretty easy. It just comes down, you ready? Yeah. This times this. 16. Okay, no pressure. This times this. Uh, four X. Square, square root of root. X. What about that one? Uh, same thing. Good. Okay, be careful on this one. X. Yes, it's like the square root of X squared, but you are correct, it just ends up being X. So I'm going to drop this down. What do these add to become? What did we learn in chapter six, section three? Four. Four and no, four makes eight square roots of? Eight. Thanks. Good. So we have like a new statement right here. You're doing great. And over here, this just keeps popping down. You ready? We have to get this entire term by itself. So how do you move the 16? Uh, divide. Uh, no, no, no. Negate. Good. And how do you move that X? Negate it. Good. Let's combine our like terms. 5x minus x makes? 4x. 4 minus 16 makes? Negative uh, 12. Good. And then cancel. 8 square roots of x pops down. Cancel. Now, some students want to divide by 8 here to get the square root by itself, because our goal is to get the new square root by itself. I didn't fill that in over here. Um, so we had to square both sides. We had to get the 8 square roots of x by itself. And now we're going to square both sides again. I would not recommend dividing by eight because we're going to get decimals or fractions and that's poopy, right? Poopy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how do you think we get rid of a square root? Same answer. You square it. Yes. And we're going to have to do that over here. Now, when we square it here, we are allowed to distribute because it's not a binomial. What's eight squared? 64. Good. What's the square root squared? X. Yeah. Now, when we do this side, everybody make sure you understand if you talk right now, it gets picked up on the video. We can't distribute into this side because it's binomial. Ready? Yeah. This times this. Uh, 8x. Close. 16x. Yep, you add instead of multiplied. Here times here. Um, Stress in your eye. Good. X. x. Okay, here. Negative 48x. And here times here. Uh, 144. Good. Okay, now this is a quadratic. Do you remember what quadratic means? No idea. Does anybody remember what quadratic means? What, and what do we use it with? An x to the what power? Oh, x to the second power. Good. So all quadratics have to get set equal to, do you remember? Zero. Zero. So we're going to do minus 64x. You ready? You got, uh, let's get this calculator here. Okay, ready? Negative 48, well here's 16 x squared. Unless you can do it in your head. Negative 48, negative 48, and negative 64. 96. That's the 48, and then with negative the 64. 64 is 160. Good. Okay, these numbers are outrageous, but they are correct. Now you can try to factor that if you want. We can pull out a 16 and factor it, or you can just go straight, since it's quadratic, you can use the quadratic formula. Opposite B. Plus or minus square root of, you remember it? All those, all those rules are coming back. 4AC all over 2A. Holy cow. So we had to use the quadratic formula because we have a quadratic. 
Make sense? Yeah. Totally. All right. I don't know what that is, but I have my really awesome cell phone calculator here. I guess I could be using the one on my iPad. Minus four times 16 times 144. That's a large number. So over here, we get, what was it? 116. Try the square root of that number. I think it's pretty. We ended up getting 16384. And if you're not good at this, you need to revisit chapter four, section seven, please. And do you know how to do the square root on? Isn't it 32? Is it 32? Is that the square root? Did anybody actually do this no, one no. on the video? I oh. think it might be. Yeah, why did I put 36? 16. Yeah, good thing you're here. There you go. You're welcome. Okay, so that's 32. Ooh. Oh, no. I have your attention for the afternoon. I don't now want to stop. Middle School Homework Center. I'm not stopping. I'm just taking this out of the video. Today. I'm pressed to take the square root of that number. And I know I did it right if I get a perfect answer because I made them perfect. Oh, my gosh, it's crazy in here. 128. Good. Woo. It says 160 plus or minus 128 over 32. Are you ready? Can you add without a calculator? What'd you um, get? That's huge. 288. Go ahead and use the calculator and divide that out. Right there. It's fine. You can do whatever calculator you want. 288 divided by 32. So our first answer is 9. Okay, now subtract. What's 160 take away 128? Uh, one, wait, no. 32. 32 divide. Oh, we can do that. 32 divided by two, 32? 1. Yeah. Okay. We have to check if both of those are correct. We have two minutes. We can check these. All right, so the equation is up here. We're going to check 9 and 1. Okay, I already added them in. Let's check in 9. 5 times 9 plus 4 minus the square root of 9, and we want to get 4. 5 times 9 is? 45. 5 plus 4 is? 49. Minus, what's the square root of 9? 3. So that's 7 minus 3, that four. equals 4. Boom, 9 is a correct answer. And let's check in 1. 5 times 1 is? 5. Plus 4 is? 9. Which is? 3. Minus the square root of, we're checking in 1, I do believe. Yeah. Okay, so minus 1 is, oh crud, what's that? 2. Okay, so what that means, it's not 4, that it is extraneous. So we're going to put this over it and we're going to use the word extraneous. Does that sound okay? Extraneous means you get it as an answer, but it doesn't plug back in. So it's like not an answer. It's like a sneaky answer. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Last thing is, let's see. So we got this one by itself. We squared both sides. We solved for X. We used our quadratic formula. Could have factored. I think the hardest part right here is squaring that. I don't know. Is that the hardest part? Mm. I don't know. All right. Multiply that by each other. Yeah. Yep. And then you can do the lesson check. And then, yeah, very similar. And then this, I have an extra video for this for you guys if you want it.